This is the Schmo with the pro with the future Hall of Famer, the man who's got the third most rushing yards in NFL history. Frank Gore beating the Schmo every year in fantasy football. I should have drafted you. How you doing, man? I'm doing fine. I'm good, man. I'm excited, you know, about the day. I'm excited for Saturday, and it's going to be a good night. Listen, we got NFL Pro Bowler against NBA All-Star, man. Do you feel like you are representing the NFL community on your back? And obviously someone was poking fun at it because Jake Paul knocked out an NBA guy in Nate Robinson a few fights ago. Well, I would say I know they're behind me. Um, I'm going to go out there and give him my, give him my best, man. Uh, I'm going to do whatever it takes to get a win. Um, so, uh, and, I, and I want the guys to be proud of me, you know, because I'm going to show them my skill set. I'm going to show them that, you know, that I, I know what I'm doing in there. Now, the Schmo saw you in Cleveland scoping out the first fight between Tyrod Woodley and Jake Paul, man. You've had the itch to get into the boxing ring for a long time. You've been training for a long time? Yeah, I've been training for a long time. I've been training for, like, since 2006. Um, you know, I usually, you know, it's my first time really training for a fight, though, on um, this last eight weeks, but I stayed around the, um, the sport. Um, I, also, I, I was training to get myself ready for football. Um, so, nah, you know, I'm, I've been, you know, wanting to do this for a while, and, you know, um, now it's here, and I'm excited about it. Now, you've played with a lot of great teams, a lot of great quarterbacks. We're not going to sit here and say pick the favorite, but who had the best cadence in the huddle? You know, the best voice, the command of the offense, off the top of the noggin. I would say Alex Smith. Yeah. Gruesome leg injury he overcame too, man. He's a tough guy, man. Uh, that's my brother. Um, you know, I wasn't surprised that he came back um, because just being around him and saw how much you know negative he had uh, negativity he had to deal with when he was in the San Fran, um, the ups and downs he went through, but still you know rose to the top. Um, so you know, I wasn't surprised about it, and you know, and I was happy about his career. Now, are you going to be one and done, depending on the result of this fight, or you got more boxing matches left in you, Frank? Um, I don't know, man. You know, I, you know, I want to get this, you know, get this, get get ready to get done with this um, Saturday and. I'll go from there and see if I like it or not. Uh, if I like it, I'll, I'll keep going. If I don't, you know, I won't. What did you see in his eyes when you faced off with the guy? Obviously, he's got the height advantage. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, I feel like he, you know, he ready. Um, like I said, I respect Darren um, you know, on the basketball court. And also, you know, I respect him for even getting into the ring. Um, you know, I think you know, any guy who get into the ring is going to have some type of toughness. And, you know, um, just like me, we both coming from different sports. And, and I'm, I'm very excited about it. I, I feel that he's excited the same. So I think um, it'll be a good night, and I think we'll have fun. Final message for all the Frank Gore fans out there worldwide. Um, tune in. Um, you know, I've been training my behind off for the this last eight weeks, and I'm going to show you my Boston skills. So tune in December 18th and watch watch your boy Frank Gore go, to, go do his thing. He's the pro. I'm the schmo Tampa, Florida. We're out. Peace, peace, peace.